Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill, and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. So, beautifully braided. It's more fun than I thought it was. <laughs> There's a lot of things. Um, I looked up ginkgo plant because at first I was, you know, it's just a flower. And then I found out it was a ginkgo, so I looked it up to see all the colors. And really, it's greens and yellows and maybe some orange so my first card i want to do some ink blending see now i can't get used to looking at my screen and not seeing something there like i do when i'm on my other thing so i got to get used to this so i put this through the new braided folder uh hi betty linda and linda <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to start out with Pineapple Punch. No, I'm not. I'm starting out with So Saffron. They're in the wrong order. And you can do this with any folder. Um, I didn't have time to really, like, play and do a lot. But this is a great thing to do sometime when you have time with different folders and then put them away for backgrounds. And I saw this on... Um, May May. I happen to, you know, just be looking at some videos. And she uses the little, um, they're not squares like the Stampin' Up. They're something else. They're something else. And she just, you know, like swipes down. And I can see I already have to re-ink. And then I went with the Daffodil Delight. Hi, V. So you're doing like a very light touch, a light stroke. Then I did crushed curry. And sometimes it was easier to turn it around. And then I did Pineapple Punch. Whoa. Let's try that again. Okay, so on the other one, I brought in, um, what is it called? Um, Mango Melody. But this time, I just wanted to see, and it could be bad, and I have another one just in case. But we could play with another one, too. So this time I have some pear pizzazz. And what that does, it kind of brings in some, like it almost looks like there's some brown in there. It's an illusion. Okay, so that's the background. So some of this I already colored, and I did cut this out on my machine. Um, now to remember what colors I used. So I think it was, nope, not that one. Granny Apple Light and Dark. Because there's quite a bit of coloring on the card, so I didn't want to do everything. So I just brought some in from the bottom and then there's like sections to these leaves. So I just brought it up like that and it was like very fast coloring. So nothing like really crazy, which I sometimes like to do. is really crazy stuff. So if you haven't liked my, um, or joined, I should say, the, um, the other, well, it's Gal Sue Sharing Group, um, do that. That's where I'm going to be doing my um, coloring 
and I do that on Saturdays mostly, but um, I think I'll be doing some more just like popping in and doing some unscheduled stuff. And then the light again. And actually today when I was coloring, I was really using, because I, I never, well, this one isn't so good, but a couple of them, because they're newer, they're not so, like, bendy. This one's bendy. But it, when they're harder, it makes it, like, go even faster. But it's not going to cooperate tonight, so I'll do it the other way. My squeak squeaking. Okay, so really that's all I did for those. And then I took the light pineapple punch. I'll do it with this. And I just went over it just a little bit. I think I did that one. I don't know. I'll do it again. Can't hurt. Okay. Then for the stems, I just took, this is the crumb cake. So just fast coloring, like no big deal. Easy peasy. And then for those, I'll use this one. I forgot to look to see what ginkgo berries, what color they are. So they're going to be green. They've been green all day. Okay, so on one of them, I colored this in um, blue. I'll show you the finished card. But I also cut out another layer. Whoops, goes that way. So on the machine, like you can just do another setting and without taking your pad out, you just put in another piece of paper and it'll cut. And I'll decide after. I might do the inside yellow this time, but I'll, I'll decide later. We'll just put it together so we can get the other two cards. The last card is my absolute favorite card. Of course, I'm waiting till the end for that one. But we did the ink dragging first. So we're just going to put that on there. Okay. So we're going to bring that in. And I am layering this on Old Olive. And they're my normal layers. How'd I end up with this one? Where's my... I'm still like, I'm in a little shock. Jackie, you tell them. Move to my left. How about I'm going to raise it up a little bit. See, because I can't see my screen. Go cry. Hey, that's not layered, it's the same size. What I do, um, hmm, hold on a second. Okay, and I think I'm a little uneven on one side, but and now there's glue all over my cutter. What do they say? Poo poo happens. And it did. Okay. So this I'm going to put down. Hi, Sandra. 
So that goes there. Yeah, I think I'm going to end up coloring it. <laughs> There's glue all over everything because I did that. <laughs> all right, I'm going to put this on the... As I say when things happen, got to love it. Got to love it and go with it. all over okay and then I cut out happy birthday and I lost the uh, little dots for the eyes for the eye it's only one come on so we'll glue this down oh that's too much I love when I get like this sticky on camera and then it's like, hello. <laughs> I'll just wipe it all over my pants, you know. So we'll put that right there. Ugh, stay, Mama. Stay. It wants to stay with me. And this happy. <laughs> I keep putting it backwards because the Y looks like an H and I probably say it every time I use these, but it's so funny. Okay. Ugh, I'm so sticky. Okay, I'm in the right direction. So that's always a good thing. Okay, so that is that card with the ink blending. Here's the original one I did, and I do like it with the black behind it, but I think I'm gonna later color this like in a light yellow. But here's another couple backgrounds I did just on that one. So, I mean, anything goes and what May May had said is like it's always the fifth color that makes it. So I did use five. And it was kind of fun. So on a day when I really have nothing to do, ha ha, because I always color when I think I have nothing else to do. But um, I will be making a bunch of backgrounds. So the next card... I hope I have all the pieces. Oh, they were hiding. Oh, I know what that one's for. We're going to do that in advance. So the die that goes with it, the braided die, braided punch. So I'm going to take it and, yes, punch. And then slide it down and then if you can see on here and there you just line it up on there and then punch again and then snip off the rest and I think I did make it just a hair larger. I did. So when we put that on, it'll be good. And make sure I cut it out of the right one. That always helps. Okay, so let's get rid of this. It's lost now on the floor. Right, so we're going to take this stamp and ink it up. Maybe if I go a little higher. Hi, Gary. I have way too many punches. 
way too many that I don't use. So I put this, let me do the bigger one first. Okay, so that one goes there, I hope. I've got plenty of paper. Hi, Judith. Hi, Stephanie. So we've got the one. And then we're going to try to do some quick coloring on this also. And then this one goes about there. Yeah. Yeah. We'll cover that up with our coloring. Okay. Am I in view? Good. All right. So for this one, I use the light granny apple and the light pineapple punch. And we're going to do this as fast as we can. So I just went in and did like all the bottoms. Like this one is still still good. I wish they'd get better tips. But I guess I can wish all I want. Yeah, see, I can I can do the coloring but not not that. Okay, so we gotta do it there. We gotta do it there. And then how do you like that trick? <laughs> it's like twirling a baton. <laughs> mm hmm. My hands are going to hurt later. That's okay. And hopefully this spot right here will like all blend in where it didn't get inked that well. Okay, so now we're going to take the light pineapple punch and we're going to blend all that in. called a fast blend. Mega fast blend. I just don't like to keep you guys here like all night. So we're just coloring, coloring. Hi, Joe. And then the other couple down here. See, this is when you're, oops, play coloring. I'm still sticky. Okay, then I am going to take, um, we'll do the light again. Mm. Oh yeah, this is a new marker. I can do this. So ginkgos are usually green, green and yellow just yellow
And there. Oops. Okay. And then you can put like a little bit of dark and it just gives it a little boost, little dimension. And it's nice if you stay in the line, not out of it. Whoops. <laughs> See, with these, you have to like really barely, barely touch it. So that's why I barely use them. All right, so I'm going to make these green again. No, really, these are great, like, beginner, beginner markers. All right, then I am going to take, where is it? See, I buried everything already. Uh, friendship refreshes the soul. And I'm going to stamp that right up there. I'm going to take that little braid. And we're going to glue that on. We're going to cover that up. Hi, Karen. Oops. So it doesn't need like a lot of ink. Oops, I don't need ink there. It's going to get cut off. I mean, glue. Something keeps popping up on my screen that they want me to buy. Okay, so I'm going to put that down there. And then just take a little snips and trim that off. We're going to layer it onto Granny Apple. And all these are, it's always my five by three and three quarters. Now something else is popping up. Stop. And then onto my white card base, which needs to be, hmm, everything's missing and buried. I keep trying to check up in my phone. I am so not used to this. And that's going to go there. And that was card number two. And that's a ginkgo. Ginkgo, ginkgo. Okay. Card number three. And then I'm going to show you a couple others I played with. So I've got a piece of soft sea foam five by three and three quarters. I've got to clean off this stamp. So we're gonna spritz it, but I think I put my spritz away. Oh, Gail, 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 I got it. Of course I didn't put it away. All right, so we're gonna get off that black. should find my cleaning pad. That ink is really good, or whatever it is. It's like a cleaning ink. 
It's really good. Okay, hopefully that's good enough. So we need the soft sea foam. And we're going to ink that up. And we're going to take it and stamp it right there. Perfect. All right, then we're going to take soft sea foam again and or I didn't use that before not the saffron maybe it was the saffron we'll find out in a second I think it was the saffron and we're going to try the light you never heard of a ginkgo it's ginkgo leaves so we're using the same the same ink and again I did not get crazy in this one but I do love how it came out and I only did like a little bit of separating whoops that was a little thick. It's okay. I'm wondering if I use the dark one because this seems to be like really lightening up too much. But that's okay because we'll do a second coat. And I'm thinking it was the pineapple punch, but let's see how that dries. It's going to be fine. I don't want to switch now. Once I, I'm going to bring in the darker green, and then it's going to be perfect. Go away. Oops, go away. Get off my screen. Get. Thank you. So that's one of the good things about using the BeLive that like you're on a whole different app so nothing pops up on you and you don't turn your sound off except on your phone. But to tell me it was too busy, try again later. Uh, no, not acceptable. All right, so we're going to go back in with the darker, dark. Let me use the brush side. And that's going to dry a little bit lighter. But wait till you see what I do, and then it like is amazing. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing with the two. We're going to use the dark crumb cake. And I just want like a little bit. And 
And then we're going to take the light. Really, that should have been green too. That's part of the leaf. Nobody will know but you guys. Don't tell them I told you. Okay, and then the little berries. So I'm going to do that darker green again. Because I don't know what. But it's something. Okay, so here is the trick. Oh, where to go? Oh, where to go? I got it. Okay, so we're going to put it through my favorite folder. The basket weave is my second favorite. So I am going to lay that in there. And I'm going to pop it through the machine, and I'll be right back. You'll hear it. Oh, sure you will. That's a thick folder. So it needs the other thing. And voila, it has ginkgo texture if you can see it. Okay, so then I took this and glued it to the brown, soft suede. And then on a little piece of white, um, we've got this saying, kindness comes in many ways, but always from the heart. And this would also be like a good, whoops, sympathy card. Uh, I hope that's straight now. Straight enough. I like it. All right. So we're just going to glue this down. I didn't pop anything up on this card. The only things popped up tonight were things on my screen. And there's something there now. Go away. Thank you. Okay. And then it goes on to the card. Just a white card base. And you know, I love using white card bases when I can, which is most of the time I can. And then I had a few sequins. Everything is sticky. So put, oh, yay, yay. One there. One there. And one there. So that's the card. That's the first card. So I think I might have used the dark one this time, and, and that was the light. But both came out fine and dandy, except for the ink smudge, which I'm going to erase after. So let me show you the other couple cards I did and give you like little explanation of what I did and what I'm going to do differently. So this one is on vellum 
And what I used, um, I have these Spectrum Noir metallic pens. I love them. So I colored like right over everything with it. I started doing it on the back. The only thing I would do different with this is I would make a border because there were spots like I use this glue to put it down and then um, if you don't like I do it with a sponge and you just sponge all over and if you miss any spots you, you get like a couple bubbles so I think I would put like a frame around it this one I also used those markers and again this one I did on black and embossed it in white and then just colored with these I used um, gold nugget and that same that same green green citrine but I love how that that looks this is one that you saw in another video when I did the um, backgrounds with the paper so that's you know I figured I'd just bring it back but that's a mm. <laughs> but these I all love so let me bring them back we've got that one that one and let's get rid of one of these that one and let's see if they're all in in camera so they go on my YouTube right <laughs> so I will be back again thank you um, Mario see now I can look um, <laughs> I can tune everybody out see if I ever got the those uh, couch whatever they are that come into your videos trolls they'd never be able to fluster me because I don't watch <laughs> I have that talent I inherited that from my mother she ignored very very well very well so okay so back to <laughs> so these were the cards tonight I'll be back again on Wednesday and um, you know my motto I don't know what but it'll be something so I'll see you then thanks for stopping by Mario good night everybody